Yo, what's up, Super Fit fam? This is Super Chad bringing you guys another amazing video. Today, we're gonna be heading to the gym so I can show you guys those 10 calisthenic exercises that you guys need to be doing. I actually gotta hit a leg workout, so I'm gonna get both done at the same time. Also, before I go to the gym, I'm always taking some type of protein as well as a little bit of creatine. And that brings us to today's video sponsor, which is gonna be My Protein. I've been taking My Protein for the last few months just because I love their clear wave protein. It's just really light on taste, tastes like a lot like a juice. And I like to take it before my workout to help protect my muscles and make sure I'm uptaking the adequate amount of protein that I actually need in the day. I also take a little bit of creatine as well as omega-3 fatty acids, and then also a men's multivitamin. Those are things that you guys can get from the My Protein shop. You guys can actually save 45% off if you guys use my promo, Super Chad, on your purchase. Okay guys, now let's head out to the gym. All right, super good fans. So the first exercise we're gonna get into that you guys need to do if you guys are doing calisthenics are some type of rows. Rows are a really good way to help open up our shoulders, especially if we're doing a lot of handstand work or a lot of planche work, which closes up our shoulders and can cause a lot of shoulder problems. By balancing out the horizontal pulling exercises, it'll help to keep that muscle balance to ensure that we don't injure our shoulders long term. So add some body weight rows into your workout routine. The second exercise you guys need to be doing if you guys do calisthenics is going to be the pseudo planche push-up. The pseudo planche push-up is going to be one of the first exercises that you guys experience that requires a lot of leverage in order to complete the exercise. By learning to do the pseudo planche push-up, you can eventually learn how to press handstands and eventually even the planche or planche push-ups. I highly suggest that you use the pseudo planche push-up to help further elevate your calisthenics journey and also to help you guys get into harder calisthenic skills. The third exercise we're going to get into is going to be pull-ups, also weighted pull-ups. I see a lot of athletes that once they start getting pull-ups, once they start breaking more than like 10 reps, they stop doing pull-ups or they keep trying to go into different variations of pull-ups. If you guys start working on weighted pull-ups, weighted pull-ups are a really good way to help you learn your one-arm pull-up, also to help you build more explosiveness and skills such as the muscle-up. Once you guys have mastered pull-ups, I highly suggest that you guys throw weighted pull-ups into your, into your routine. That way you guys continuously see more explosive strength as well as an increase in your single arm strength. So add weighted pull-ups to your calisthenics routine. All right, super good fan. For number four, we're getting into the tuck raise. The tuck raise is one of the most beginner calisthenic exercises that you're gonna do that engages your core. It is a really good exercise for learning to engage your hip flexors as well as your lower abs and can further help us in achieving skills such as the skin cap, which is a little teaser because we'll talk about that a little later. And it's also a really good entryway into learning how to do front lever skills as well as exercises that are a little bit tougher such as the L-sit. Tuck raises are an amazing way to actually start strengthening your core. So I highly suggest that you add tuck raises into your normal calisthenics routine. All right, now getting to number five. Number five is gonna be the pipe push-up. The pipe push-up is a really good exercise for helping you guys strengthen your shoulders. It is a predominantly shoulder exercise or a vertical pushing exercise that can actually help increase our shoulder strength and actually help us with learning exercises such as the handstand push-up and eventually getting to tougher skills such as the 90 degree handstand push-up. I highly suggest that you add the pipe push-up into your workout routine. If you are seeking handstand push-ups, you want to get some bigger shoulders or you're just looking to or if you're just looking for some variety in your normal shoulder days, add in some pipe push-ups. All right guys, if you guys are super enjoying this video, please like and subscribe to my page, it super helps me out. But all right, let's get back to the action. Exercise number six is gonna be actually two exercises, the hollow body hold and the arch body hold. Hollow body holds and arch body holds are considered body tightening exercises. Now these body tightening exercises can tremendously help us in figuring out how our body is supposed to be in handstands, planches, and other skills where we're holding our bodies in space. The arch body hold is a really good exercise for also working our posterior chain, which is usually neglected in most calisthenic exercises. So I highly suggest that you add the hollow body hold and the arch body hold into your daily calisthenics routine. All right, so for number seven, to nobody's surprise, it's gonna be legs. Most calisthenic athletes or people who are calisthenic enthusiasts usually miss out on doing legs. By not doing legs, you're missing a major point of learning how to squeeze and engage your legs when you're doing specific calisthenic skills. By increasing your leg strength, it's easier for you to understand where your legs are 
you're supposed to be, and also how to engage your glutes. By learning to engage your legs is a really good way for learning to keep your body line in certain skills such as handstands, punch, front levers, etc. Okay? So I highly suggest that you guys hit legs, that way you guys learn how to squeeze your legs. Number eight is actually going to be a stretch. So for number eight, we're getting into middle splits. Middle splits are really important for different progressions of calisthenic movements. By increasing your middle split flexibility, it will greatly help with skills such as straddle punch, straddle front lever, straddle back lever, straddle handstand, straddle press handstands. Anywhere you see a straddle, the bigger your straddle, the easier the exercise is gonna be. So by getting better at middle splits, you'll increase your straddle and your straddle width. And by having a bigger width, it cuts down the leverage required to complete the skill, making the exercise easier to accomplish. So working on your middle splits during your calisthenics journey will tremendously help you guys out. Skill number nine is gonna be one of my most favorite skills. It's gonna be the skin to cap. The skin to cap is a really good shoulder mobility exercise that helps us to work on the front lever and back lever at the same time. And if you know a little bit about the back lever, the back lever is highly associated with skills such as the planche and Maltese. So I highly suggest that you add the skin and cap to your normal regimen, and if it's too tough of a skill, you can jump off the ground or use a higher block so you can jump through the motion, okay? For the 10th and final exercise, it's gonna be one of my most favorite exercises, and it's a classic, it's gonna be the dip. The dip is a really good exercise for increasing your chest and shoulder, and as well, mainly your tricep strength. These, this is tremendously needed in skills such as handstand push-ups, normal push-ups, 90 degree handstand push-ups, diamond push-ups. By having more tricep strength, it helps you from everything from beginner calisthenic exercises, even to more advanced calisthenic exercises. If you're already good at dips, I highly suggest that you add weighted dips into your routine to help you guys further along your calisthenics journey and also to help you guys increase your gains along the way. All right, Super Good Fam, if you guys are super calisthenic enthusiasts, I want you guys to look over here at this playlist on the side and I want you guys to look for some other calisthenic skills that you guys are currently working on because I make tons of videos working on specific calisthenic skills. If you guys really did enjoy that video today, please do like, subscribe to my page. It really does help me out. Put the video in front of more people that can use it and helps out my channel. Okay, guys? If you guys have any other questions or concerns or, or you guys think there was an exercise that should have been in this top 10 besides something I posted, please let me know, you know down in the comments below and then we can have a friendly debate about it. As always, stay healthy, stay fit, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.